Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. This is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this lesson, I am going to teach you Arduino analog input and outputs. Moreover, there are three functions available for analog input and output into the Arduino. The first one is analog read and second one is analog reference and third option is analog write. So we'll take these three functions one by one. First we will try to understand what is these functions. You might have noticed that in my previous tutorials, I had told that in a UNO, there are six analog pins are available. And those analog pins are here A0, A1 to A5. So there are six analog input that can be read using analog read so how it is possible every at mega microcontroller have a 10 bit adc okay the few at mega microcontrollers have a more number of bits in the adc but for particular this at mega 328p microcontroller have a 10 bits of the adc so the 10 bit of ADC can be represented maximum 1023 value. Okay, so the, what Arduino has done, Arduino has written a wrapper function in a C++ programming that we can use into our Arduino sketch. So if we call analog read, it automatically initialize in a single sort ADC of this at mega microcontroller and then it automatically read the ADC okay the ADC and also the selected channel so we pass a parameter here a channel okay channel name which we want to read moreover how it works let's say if we have analog world signal we connect it with the A0, so the A0 that's the ADC and then it is read with the analog read okay and then of course the analog read returns the value into the integer form okay right and for the analog reference, with the analog reference, we can set a reference for the ADC. As each ADC needs a reference. So by default, for this at mega microcontroller, the ADC, that's the ARF, is a 5.0 volt. And the analog write can be used to generate an analog output, which is technically not an analog but it's a kind of the pulse width modulated way that is the PWM so for the PWM if you see this the tidal pins so these tidal pins can be used to generate pulse width modulated waveform okay now if you see here for analog read Syntax is fairly simple. It takes input as a pin number which can be given A0 to A5, any pin. And uh, I'm talking only for the UNO here. Although for the MEGA, it's A0 to A15. And then finally, it returns a int value. Okay. And that int value for a 10-bit ADC will be always in between 0 to 1, 0, 2, 3 okay so if i ask you what would be the resolution okay so the resolution would be 5 volt that is the v reference for the adc and 1023 so for this it would be around 4.9 milli ampere okay so here is a example code for the adc so how it works we first define let's say a variable analog pin for a3 or a0 whatever you decide then we define a variable value in which this 
value from the ADC will be stored. Then in, in this default functions, we define uh, we initialize uart of uno and then here we read a value, we read the ADC and then we finally transfer this value to a computer. So let's write this code very quickly into uh, and draw into a Arduino. So the first we are going to define int in log pin which is equal to let's say a0 okay and then we are going to define int value which is by default 0 and then finally we need to define serial uh, we need to open our UART with the serial begin and I'm setting a baud rate 9600 which is bit per second and then finally I'm going to read the ADC into a, a value a variable and for that I can call analog read and then analog pin full stop and then finally I can uh, I can send this value to you what so just type here a value and now I can upload this code to Arduino once code is uploaded I need to open a serial port so if I open a serial port you see here there is a random value is coming here this random value why this is random value because the pin a0 is a floating so how it works when it is floating it don't get any particular voltage so in a floating condition the voltage could be anything in between 0 to 5 it depends on the accumulated charge on a pin the voltage with the nearby pin okay or this pin if it is nearby some other charged particles let's say if I um, make it auto scroll you see there and if I touch this if I touch this uh, wire you see this is really uh, uh, very high okay 0 1 2 3 and if I ground it you will see almost 0 value should come there that's the 0 exactly and if I connect it with the 5 volt I think it is connected with 3.3 .3 volt if I connect it with 5 volt you see here 0 0.23 and if I connect it with the 3.3 .3 volt it comes 6 point uh, uh, the 667 and the 68 now let's convert this value into a particular voltage I mean the voltage level so we need to uh, multiply this value with the uh, with the resolution which we had calculated earlier and that resolution is uh, 4.9 volt okay so that's the 4.9 multiplied by 0 0.0001 uh, that's the milli volt okay now if I send this value uh, although I have to make it to the float so in this case what I can do I can oh, sorry I can make it a float okay right So if you see here 3.3 .3 volt okay so the voltage is being converted and if I connect it with the ground that's the 0, 0.0 volt if I connect it with the 5 volt that's the 5.0 volt so in this video we have learned how we can read ADC of Arduino how we can convert particular value of ADC into a voltage and how we can send ADC value to a computer okay and the moreover we can also plot a DC value we need to go into the tool and then we can we, we need to go into the serial plotter so once we go into the serial plotter you see here the plotted value will come like that if we change value this let's say to the 3.3 .3 volt or some the random value 
you see this is how it is being plotted okay so the final it is coming uh, something around in between always it will be um, uh, always in between the 0 and the 5 volt but if I don't convert it into the particular voltage it will be always in between 0 to 1 0 to 3 so the moreover the serial plotter can be used as a low bandwidth oscilloscope you can check and the test any voltage level in between 0 to 5 volt with this Arduino so thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day